Today, I share more about how I survived my attackers. Now, I know it's not easy to say you can get over things and get on with your life and please move forward. I do understand that because it took me years to deal with the emotions, the aftermath, and just the feelings of guilt and fear. So I do understand what you are going through every day and that it could be difficult to move forward or even to make a start. But what I'm trying to encourage through my life story is that what I had done and the elements and tools I've used to overcome my emotions and deal with them. So I have been dancing since I was four years old. I weighed too much energy and my parents had decided I could do ballet dancing. Um, it's part of also something very good. It came out of it, the elegance and the music and my passion for dancing, theater, etc. So I've used my ballet dancing to when these emotions come and when these feelings overwhelm me that this is the place where I took myself. And even still today, I move and I listen to the same kind of music for when I danced and uh, 20 years was a habit that was stuck and something that I could use to cover these feelings. So yes, I decided on my adjustment and change of attitude that I can move forward and from day to day over the weeks, the months and even years it took for me through my adulthood to get past these feelings that were so stuck and trapped deep inside of me. And even uh, the attackers were driving a red car. Even sometimes I would go to a halt when I see a red car. It took years for me to suppress and move on and realize that I can get past this fear. So it is a mindset. It's learning how to improve, take the opportunities to adapt, and really guard the mind to get to a place where you can move forward. And one of the other elements that I love was reading. Since a child, I used to read Maya Angelou's books, and my mom always used to scream at me because I was just reading forever instead of the things that I was meant to do, and run around with Maya Angelou's book under my arm. So it's probably not a surprise that I became a writer today. But these were things that I used reading. We can use information, we can read fun things, we can read informative things to move on and give us something new to learn from. So I do understand that the ordeal of fear could be something that trap anyone in a place where they feel stuck, but it's a choice. I made the choice that I need more. I need to give myself permission that I deserve better and that I can move forward. That moment the attackers took where I was smart enough as a 19 year old girl to use the ring that I was wearing around my neck to confuse them because it was something at the moment that I thought about that I could use to get away from them. And in that escape, even though I got away, I still suffered for years. But although the dancing saved me, music saved me, my learning, my reading saved me, it is something that I can say today, surround yourself by like-minded people that have your interests in heart, people that encourage you to move forward, go to a better place, learn, improve. And I know it is something that benefited me. And I'm not saying this because I'm a writer today or I've become accomplished today, but I know if I can do it, so can you. So I do come forward and make myself transparent and perhaps a little bit vulnerable through my story, but it will help you. So like, subscribe, share, and there's more to come later as I bring more about my story and my upcoming mission. See you later.